hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine tutorial series so today i'm going to show you how to enable an overhead uh, help bar uh, on the over the head of those enemy characters only when they are engaging with the player character so when they are in the idle mode or when they haven't seen me yet they don't have that overhead health bar so only when they are going to fight those health bar will be appeared like this okay that's what i'm going to show you today and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me so this is how it looks at the moment and as you can see even though i am very far from those enemy characters and even though i am not engaged with any fight with them uh, they, are, they already have that overhead health bar on top of them so this is kind of distracting and even if i am trying to aim at them from a distance then it is uh, hard to see them hard to get the aim so that's why i want to fix it fix it even though i am in middle of this bow and arrow system okay so first let's see where do we spawn or create add that uh, overhead health bar it should be in the ch enemy character under let's see in the event graph see this one No, actually this is that widget and I think it's yeah, it's coming from Here Yeah, widget class enemy data and this is not an inherited object. So that means this is uh, added at this ch enemy character. It doesn't contain this one does not contain in this ch human uh, this parent character as you can see here right so here in the tick I am calling this update actor details event function and this is that function the definition of that function and uh, what it does is it gets the user widget object and call this update progress uh, event through this uh, BPI UI interface actually it is not necessary or it is not optimized uh, or efficient to call this update actor details on each tick or each update loop event but uh, because I only have to update this only when there is a change in the health level of the character so therefore maybe I should skip this part like this and I should call this update actor details only when my character get hit where is that I think I already have update Help. yeah it's here and where do I call this one let's see yeah right here update help and then call actor detail update actor detail okay compile and then when I call this update actor details I, sh I can do something like this 
uh, this uh, what if I make it like this I should show that health bar overhead only if this character is in fight mode that means uh, for that purpose I can use this uh, attack in variable or oh, this one actually this method is called from my AI human character uh, human this is the AI that controls the this enemy character so here uh, when that enemy character see an enemy it uh, calls this toggle attack mode so when it is enabled that character that enemy character is in attack mode so whenever this attack mode is set to true I should enable that this uh, widget which shows the health details so let's do it something like do something like this get the widget and set hidden in game and for the hidden state I can use this um, this in attack mode variable oh, where is that yeah right here get in attack mode so if in attack mode is true hidden must be false so I should get the not of this if attack in attack mode is false then hidden must be true so like this let's see how it works oh I forgot one thing in order to take that effect I need to call this uh, update actor details event right here like this yeah let's check now so I'll start from somewhere here so now as you can see those characters don't have that overhead health bar now let's see if that appears when I am in this attack range like this okay it didn't show up ah yeah right it showed up like this so only when the character is going to attack me that health bar is displayed and I think I should move it up a little bit because at the moment that is on the face of the character so let's go to this mode and move it up like this compile and go here okay they don't have that right right that's better and yes but that uh, even though that character is getting damaged the health bar is not reducing let's see Did I call that event in after taking damage? This is the get hit. Oh, 
here on weapon hit where do I get hit here this is the damage part this is the only place yeah let's put that inside uh, I have already called it so why it's not getting updated um, uh, let's check this interface event this is the event that I am calling here update no need to call it here I was just testing right damage yeah here I'm calling this one and in here yeah I'm calling this update progress so let's check this widget and if there is any problem okay this is a custom event and I should implement this method uh, I think uh, maybe at some point I do some renaming or something so therefore that connection has been lost so update progress connect it like this and this right let's see if that works now Yeah, as you can see, that health bar is reducing. Alright. So, that's all I want to do for today. And from tomorrow onwards, let's continue with our bow and arrow system. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of my Patreon club. Uh, right here link would be in the description below and see you in the next episode goodbye